to how to Yu-Gi-Oh! Wasted Opportunities Remote Duel. In these new series of videos, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be talking about the list of opportunities, each opportunity that Konami has had, and how they've wasted their opportunities. So first, let's talk about Remote Duel. Okay, so now let's talk about Remote Duels, right? So much expectations, yet it flopped. And uh, what that is about. So essentially, with uh, Remote Duels. Um, this was introduced in 2020 when we had lockdown, right? And um, the idea was good. It would allow us to play during, you know, lockdown. And, you know, but, you know, soon we found there was some cheating involved. People cheated and it didn't go out so well. Get it right the first time. We see after 2020, you know, 2021, um, it was cut off altogether. And Konami has not thought about doing this again. But I truly feel, right, that remote duels is something that is a wasted opportunity as it is a good idea but implemented in the wrong way. I can't deny that. It's just the truth at this point. For example, this could be something that could be used, let's say, for example, for the disabled. For people for people who play Yu-Gi-Oh! or are not so able that can't go to tournaments or stuff like that or can't get to their locals they could use remote doors to play under those um, conditions this could um, facilitate dragon duels especially for kids and families that need to go to these really tough locations and obviously children need supervision all the time and they can't really duel outside of their country of origin so here's where remote doors come in i feel like remote doors is something that should have been or should have stayed still but for children and for um, other parts of our community that can't really travel have access to this because the service that remote duel does is good and it is needed in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a shame that Konami has um, discontinued our remote duels and isn't doing them anymore. I feel there is a customer base for this it's just not, it's not for everyone, obviously, but there is a place for remote tools. Yeah. Maybe you want to enter a tournament, but you, you, you tournament, but traveling is a little bit much and it's a little bit, you know, outside of your pay range. This is where you can interact with the highest level of play with, um, you, uh, with you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! And you can do a remote tool for that event. You know, instead, so you can still do there, but you'll 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 be there, but you just have to record. I feel like this is where remote do comes in. It's for the people who can't really travel, so people like that to fill in the gaps of that customer base that uh, really want to play Yu-Gi-Oh, but have issues traveling, have issues getting to places, and this is where remote do can really come in. So for me, in my personal opinion, it's a very wasted opportunity. I feel um, it can be reintroduced again, um, can be marketed again, but for a different player base, it could bring us together in a completely different way. Yes, it is not for everyone, but that doesn't mean it's not a service that Yu-Gi-Oh! doesn't need. It is a service I feel that the game does need. It just is just not a service for everyone. Um, it can, fl I feel it can flourish. Um, you know, look at like Master Duel. Master Duel, um, you know, um, is a simulator that, you know, is, is flourishing and a lot of people it's gotten a lot of people in back into our game um so it, there's no reason why with proper advertising and with proper uh, marketing with proper uh, you know deliberation of what remote duel is for and who it is for that it can thrive in the next phase of Yu-Gi-Oh! so that's definitely something that we need to uh, uh, you know see and i definitely want something i want to see in the future from konami bring this back um implement it properly and maybe just maybe we can um, get to a better place in Yu-Gi-Oh. don't let us down okay and that's all i've got to say about 